Okay. Okay. So, advanced posture class. What is what is it all about? Well, what we want to do is we want to give you some really strategic exercises that are based on a couple of things. Your most recent progress exam. So remember, we took your posture picture kind of in the last week or so, or maybe longer than that. If it's been a while since we've uh, do we have any? Not we got, well, it's coming up. Yeah. We just brought Jane because Jane was here. So, oh, okay. um, so, uh, so it's really close. So our first or six week progress exam, for some people it happens at four weeks, but uh, for most people it's about six weeks. And the reason that we wait until six weeks before we start to prescribe exercises is because first of all, a lot of times in the first six weeks we can deal with a lot of your postural sort of critical symptomatic issues in those first six weeks. So there's no use you exercising on something that we're going to clean up anyway. We really want to give you the exercises that are absolutely crucial for us to see good solid breakthrough long term. Okay, so and we find that if we can clean up a little bit of the mess at the beginning, then you've got less homework and usually when we give people less homework, compliance goes up. We used to give people five or six exercises and they wouldn't do any. So I'd sooner give you one or two that are really strategic for where you're at based on your progress exams and your most recent x-ray. That way it gets done. And then when we clean that up, we can move on to the next one based on your progress exams and your x-rays. Make sense? Okay. So yeah, so it may seem like we're not giving you a lot of exercises, but really if you focus on this, it's all you're going to need right now. Okay. So a couple of things we're going to talk about. The first thing is some type of cervical extension traction. So there's the neck orthotic, which is this little guy, and the vast majority of people, about 70% of people, are going to respond really well to this. And the only way we know if you're in the 30% that don't respond to this is to start out with this. Okay? And there is a bigger foam block that other people need to use, but this is a lot easier and people tell us, believe it or not, it's actually more comfortable than the other way of doing it. So we like to start off with what we hope is going to work the best for you and then if for some reason we're not seeing the kind of changes that we need to, we can move you over to the other time. Okay. Um, so that's, we're going to talk about the, so when we talk about the neck orthotic, that's what this is. Now some of you have kindly referred to this as the neck brick. So sometimes, right, you'll hear us talk about it as the neck brick. That's usually somebody that's not having a lot of fun doing it. Everyone else talks about it as the neck orthotic, so that's that. Okay, so what we're using that to do is to help strengthen the correction, so help allow the adjustments to keep going through stretching ligaments. So we're talking about the ligaments that go from vertebrae to vertebrae, so really tiny ligaments. And so there's only so much stretch that's possible in those ligaments at any one given session. So when we talk about this, we're talking about three to five minutes, maximum of 12 to 15 minutes. After that, you're really not getting any benefit. So if somebody could fall asleep on this thing because you lay down on it. They could fall asleep on it, but they're not gonna get any more correction from sleeping on it than they are if they had to stop after 12 to 15 minutes. Because the ligaments only stretch so much each time. Then you need to let them rest for a day, and then you can go at it again. Okay, so short periods of time, but really, really effective. So that's the neck orthotic, and like I said, there are a few people that we graduate to the, the big foam block, but we're not going to talk about that tonight because the vast majority of people, neck orthotic works. The second thing we're going to give you is a posture-based mirror image exercise. And so what that is, it's basically a reverse exercise of where you are. So let's say your rib cage is shifted to your left, then what we're actually going to have you do is do your exercise where you take your rib cage to the right. That's it. It's not any more complicated than that. But it does tend to go against people's natural inclination, especially if you've done a lot of working out before, because you've been always told you've got to exercise both sides equally. Right? You know, if you've had a trainer or worked out at the Y or whatever, it's always about exercising it the same way. Well, these aren't exercises like you would get there. They're to help correct your x-rays, so we are lopsided when we prescribe in here until we see change in your x-ray, and then once we see change in your x-ray, you don't need to do that exercise anymore. Or we move on to another exercise that's targeting another area that we need to deal with. Okay? Is that pretty clear? Any questions about that? 
Okay, so let's talk about time frame. Normally what I do is I talk about time frame when we're doing the demo, but for the video I just want to get it out there and say it so it's recorded. Time frame for the neck orthotic is pretty simple. If you can do it in the position that we show you, so there's three different levels, lower neck, mid neck, and upper neck. So if you're say mid neck and you can load up on that and do three minutes, then you've actually started right at the beginning, which is cool. A lot of people though, if their curve is really straight, if there's not, you know, basically if you're under 10 degrees in your curve, then what you can, you only can load up and maybe do about 30, 45 seconds on there because it just hurts. And we don't, we, we need to give your body some time to catch up. So it might take you two or three weeks to actually get to the beginning, three minutes. But once you get to three minutes and you can do three minutes, then every other day you go up by a minute. Is that too much math for you this late at night? Right before a holiday weekend, you're like, I just want to get going. Come on, I want my holidays, right? So yeah, so every second day you go up by just one minute. And maximum, did anybody remember what the maximum was? 15. 12 to 15, yeah. Awesome, yeah, super, yeah. So that's it. Um, no benefit beyond that because the ligaments only stretch so far each time. Uh, the other ones, the posture-based mirror image exercises, so the reverse exercises, the reverse to your x-ray, the mirror image exercises, you start out by doing 15 repetitions of those, and every day for the next 15 days, you add 15. So if we've got any math PhDs in here, that's 225 repetitions. Don't think about 225, because that just freaks people out. What we do is we say, if you're doing it fast enough, which is about one every second, it's not a stretch and hold, it's a rep, okay? You're doing it, you're doing it, so it should be about one every second. So if you can think about just doing that exercise for three to five minutes a day, after you've kind of spent those couple of weeks building up, then that's enough. You'll get your close to 225 in. So it's almost like brushing your teeth. And this is one thing, especially for like the rib cage exercises or the neck shift exercises, and we'll demo these based on what your prescription is, you can actually do them when you're brushing your teeth. And it's a really good idea to do that. There's other ones that we say, hey, this one's a good one to do at red lights. You know, so you're sitting in your car, you do your exercise. I find if we tell people get up five minutes early or tack it on your exercise or do whatever, never gets done. But if you're doing it with some, if you're multitasking, and I know guys, it's gonna be hard for us to multitask, brush your teeth and do exercise at the same time, right? But no, if you're multitasking, then, um, you're already doing something else anyway. Or whenever you take a phone call, you know, what these types of things, you, okay, that's a trigger to do my exercise. You know, you'll, you know what you'll end up doing is if you do have it connected with something else, you'll probably do more exercise than you were supposed to do in the, in the first place, which is never a bad thing. You can't overdo this stuff. Okay? But what you can do is you can ramp up too fast. So that three to five minutes, if you were to do your mirror image exercise for three to five minutes tonight, you'd be really sore tomorrow because you're just working your body in the direction that it has never wanted to be for the last 10, sometimes 20 years, depending on what's going on in your spine. Right? So ramp it up 15 each day. So you give yourself a couple of weeks to sort of get up to full speed on that and then you should be okay. So that's it. And then what we'll see is we will really start to see some, some significant changes in those posture pictures. And what that will mean is when we get to your six month first kind of post x-ray, your before and after x-ray, we'll really see some awesome results. So we see, and just to put the numbers out there for you guys to see, if people do their exercises versus if people don't do their exercises. If people do their exercises, we see about a 30% faster correction rate than if they don't. So yeah, you technically could not do any of what I say tonight and get correction. It'll just take longer and it'll take more time, it'll take more adjustments to get you there, okay? And guys, I am very, very upfront with people. There are some times life just explodes, okay? And you're not doing your exercises, okay? It's too stressful, like you, you lose someone, you lose a job, you change careers, you just, stuff happens, right? And so one thing you're not gonna get from us is guilt on this. You know you should be doing them. I know you should be doing them. We know you're gonna get better results at your progress exam, so we're gonna provide accountability to say, hey, you know what? This is really important to do. 
and then we leave it up to you. Right? It, it really is a big deal to, to get these in your game, and I think you guys know that. You wouldn't be here. You don't do what you're doing and not be serious about getting healthy. Right? Because how many people are showing up at the chiropractor's office as often as you are? Right? Log in the hours you are getting adjusted. People think we're crazy for going so often. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So you have obviously committed to a, a strategy of health that's radically different than what, you know, so, and it's not guilt. It's just you just know what you saw in your x-ray has got to get out of you. You know, and so I just kind of let the x-rays just kind of be the motivation and know that, you know, the more faithful you are with these exercises, we're just going to get way better changes on your x-rays, you know. Um, but yeah, it's don't ever, ever feel that when we are saying, hey, how are you doing your, on your exercises, it's like this more condemnation, more guilt, more, oh, I suck because I'm not doing my exercises, right? <laughs> Isn't that what the world is like, right? Like, you know, it's just the, it's the wrong kind of motivation. Right? It's just not right. It's like, let's do our exercises so we get you there faster. That's what we want. And you know what, guys? You're already, I mean, light years ahead of anybody else that's doing chiropractic by just being in here. Okay? Then if you can do your exercises on top of that, you'll just be like, you know, the shooting star x-ray result person. And I, I would love that for each one of you guys where we see like zero degrees one time and 42 degrees the next picture. That would be awesome. You know, just huge, massive changes in your x-rays. That'd be cool. Okay. So let's go over your exercises and we'll do a little demo of the necrothotic so you can see what that looks like.